Ikea Pax project is done. Our bedroom is abnormally long, longer than it should be. But meanwhile, our closet that we shared was really small. So in an effort to rearrange things and make more space where it's actually useful, we moved the furniture around in our bedroom and we built an Ikea closet behind me. So the thought was I would stay in our original closet and my husband would move into the new Pax closet. So I completely designed the whole thing, planned out where everything was gonna go before it even arrived. And we really did a lot to make this look built in, to look high end, to not look like a piece of freestanding Ikea furniture. And I think we really nailed it. We're gonna start with the hanging clothes first. So on this side, this is where all of his shirts and pants, and he's got some boots up at the top, but this is mainly just the hanging clothes zone. One of the things that we used in this space in order to be able to fit all of his hanging clothes are slim hangers. They are such a game changer when it comes to a really small space like this because you can see how slim they really are and we're able to fit a lot in here. I can push these all the way to the end and there's still space here which he could add more clothes but for the most part this really just allows him to be able to get to things easily without them being being just all crammed together and having to fight to get something out. If you have a small closet, definitely invest in these slim hangers. You can buy them on Amazon, you can get them at Costco. Um, the ones I get are from Walmart. They're the Better Homes and Gardens brand and they're like $10 for a pack of 30. So they're really flexible, but at the same time, they're super sturdy. These are the only hangers that I use. On the lower section, we added one of the C-shaped dividers for the PAX units, and we used this section to hold all of his hanging pants, so these are like his nicer dressy pants. Instead of putting them on a hanger, since this is really far back and down low, it's kind of hard to get to, so if it were on a hanger like this, then he would have to reach down and reach in and pull this out, and it would just be a big pain to try to get all the pants out. So instead, what we use are these little Little half hangers so he can leave these hangers on the rod and all he has to do is just slide the pants out and that way he's not having to pull these off and put them back on all the time it's just a lot easier it's got this grippy end here that keeps the pants from falling off and they're pretty strong he's got some heavy pants in there and it's not falling down on the other side of the divider we were able to fit two of the slim hampers so he likes to separate his laundry with whites and colors and before he was only able to keep them all in one hamper and he had to sort them out when he was ready to do his laundry so this open space just happened to fit two of those hampers perfectly next is his shoes and this is really the reason why we wanted to do ikea packs for him he has a large shoe collection and before they were all stored in boxes so he was having a hard time going back and forth trying to get them all out and put them all away so we were able to add all these shelves put all his shoes on display and sometimes i catch him sitting in here on the bed just looking at his shoes with his open so i think it's it's really been beneficial for him to have them all out like this. He wears them more often because he's not having to get them out of the boxes. And in order to fit all these shoes in here, we did one behind the other and that makes it really easy for him to just pull out one shoe and then the next instead of taking up all the space to have two shoes side by side. There's also enough space in the top for another shelf to go if he buys more shoes, but let's not tell him that because we don't want to get any more shoes in this closet. Since the shoes are on the upper shelves, it's only fitting that the socks are right underneath. So he's got his shorter socks here, longer socks here, underwear and pajama pants are on this side. And the way that we divided this was with these bamboo wooden dividers. These are actually made for a kitchen, but they work really well here. They are expandable. So you basically just push this end in and I'll show you just like this. We just smush it in and they're divided. The next drawer is all of his t-shirts. In an effort to save space on the hanging clothes, he's got all of his t-shirts folded here. I taught him how to file fold a couple of years ago and he does a really good job at it. He folded these, this was not me. So he's got just t-shirts lined up, Henleys, everything in this section, and then these are all graphic tees. And then the next drawer is shorts, 
and dressy shorts and some extra shirts and again he's using these bamboo dividers to keep everything separated. On the bottom of this section is a mesh basket and what he uses this for is for putting his dirty shoes inside. We clean our shoes every time we wear them and sometimes they don't get cleaned for a couple of days. So he doesn't want to put dirty shoes on the clean shelves so they go down here in this basket and he can just close it up. That way when he's ready to wash his shoes he can just take the shoes out, clean them, and then put them back on the shelves again. This last unit is where all of his accessories are. On the lowest level is this jewelry box that holds all of his jewelry and sunglasses and cologne, wallets, everything that he grabs to take with him every day. It's all in this easy to get to section. And then up next is his hats and he has a lot of hats and I really struggled with a way to figure out how to organize all these hats in this small space but I found the perfect solution and you are not going to believe what it is. These are refrigerator bins. They're really deep. They're made to go inside a refrigerator but I was able to stack up all the hats and so they're all just kind of in this little line. He can pick out which hat he wants, take it out, and then just kind of smush it back in after he's worn them. And they all just slide right back on the shelf. So everything is easy to get to. You can see all the hats without having to take them all out. And you don't have to have a bunch of hooks anywhere either. Up above are his dressier sneakers and he's got one pair of dress shoes and a dressier hat and I just had that open space up there and I didn't really know what to do with it. We didn't really have anything else that needed to go there so it was fun to use a hat stand and shoe stands to kind of give it that boutique look and it makes it look really nice when you open it up and you've got these lights and displays and it just makes it fun to get ready. I'm super jealous that my closet doesn't have any of these things so I have a feeling that I'm gonna be doing my closet next. For the lower drawers on this side, these are his sweatpants and they're just file folded and put in two rows. And below that are his jeans and they're technically file folded but they don't stand up that way so you kind of have to smush them down so they're a little more rolled than file folded but they're easy to access this way and bonus is since they're in here so loosely there's no fold crease lines so this actually works out really well for all of his jeans. And then underneath that are his winter hats and ties and belts and all his other random accessories. We have all of his hats just file folded and lined up. And then this divided little bin holds all of the smaller things. One thing you may have noticed while we were doing the tour was all the lights that are inside this closet. I found these motion sensor lights on Amazon. They're rechargeable and they don't have to be hardwired. So I was able to just stick them up on every shelf that needed light. Since this closet is in the back of a room, it gets kind of dark and dim, especially in the evenings. So having those motion sensor lights, as soon as you open up the door, those lights come on. So it's functional, but also it feels extra fancy. It's like being at the grocery store when you walk through the freezer aisle and all the lights come on as you walk by. It's kind of like that except in your house. We have had these lights installed for a little over a month now and they haven't had to be recharged yet so I can't tell you for sure how long they're gonna last but so far they've held up for a long time. I'll link those lights down below because they are such a huge help in small spaces. Another thing you probably noticed was the wallpaper in the back. That is not wallpaper on the wall. That is on the backing of the Ikea PAX units. So I got that stripe wallpaper from Spoonflower and as we were assembling the units, we went ahead and put the wallpaper on the backing. That way it was already on there, so much easier to install than doing it after. But it really just gives it more of a high-end look and more customized so it's not just like a plain old white Ikea cabinet. As far as the build of the PAX units, we built them just the way Ikea said to. We used Ikea doors, but I had my handyman put them up on a base and then put crown molding around the top and baseboard around the bottom so it looks like it's built in. We also had to put a little spacer on this side just because it's up against the wall and I needed space for the handle to be able to clear that so it would open up all the way. But there are a lot of tutorials online if you wanna do this yourself. 
it seems really easy to do. I definitely could have done it, but I was really short on time because we were installing this like the week before Christmas. So luckily my handyman was able to come and knock this out for me. I'll put the tutorials down in the description if you wanna do this yourself. Now, as far as designing this, I built the entire system on the IKEA PAX Planner online. It's a free program that IKEA offers, and I just rearranged over and over and over again. It took me almost a month to design this entire unit. And the reason why is we have this smaller space. I was really trying to use two of the big units and one of the small, but I wanted to make sure it was all going to fit. I wanted to make sure that there was enough room for all of his clothes to fit. And then once I decided which units were going to fit, then I had to go through and figure out which shelves. So it really was a whole process of planning what was going to go where before it even got here. Normally, when you're organizing a closet, you already have a space to work with and you just decide where to put things. But with a PAX unit, it's a little different because you kind of have to decide which one's going to hold your hanging clothes and which one is going to hold your shoes. And you really have to plan all that out. You have to measure over and over again. I can put together a whole video on how to plan an IKEA PAX unit before you buy it. If that's something you want to see, let me know down in the comments because it really is a whole process and it's something that unless you are a professional organizer and you think about this stuff all the time, it's really hard to figure out where everything should go and how you're gonna be able to make the most of all that space. I hope you got some ideas. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this closet, if you found some ideas that you can use in your own home, and if you want more information on how to plan an IKEA PAX closet, like I said, I will make a separate video for that. You can find more videos and photos of this closet and of my closet on my Instagram at Leela Burris and I'll have all the information and details and measurements and shopping links and everything over on the blog. So check the link in the description. Everything you need is going to be right there. For more home and life organizing ideas, make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video. That helps me know what you're interested in and what you want to see more videos about. I will see you in the next video. And in the meantime, remember that organization doesn't have to be perfect. The entire goal of having an organized life is just to be able to find what you need to find when you need to find it and to make your life more simple and easier to live. Remember that organized-ish is always good enough and I will see you soon.